Hey guys, J-Man here. Okay, um, now I've been reading a lot of these old pulp magazines and they're awesome. I love these pulps. I already did a video explaining all this. It's the spider video. Check that one out. I give a little bit of an intro just to quickly recap. Um, I love old movie serials. I love the old radio shows like Blue Beetle and The Shadow and all that kind of stuff. And I love these old pulps. And I used to go to a pulp show every year with Sean and we would pick up a lot of great stuff, great reprints. We can't, I can't afford the originals, man. These are like 30s and 40s uh, items. It's hard to get, hard to get them. But we had a lot of fun reading them, and um, we even did our own pulp. And I'm trying to get some stuff going. I have my own radio show, uh, character strong arm. I'm trying to maybe make a strong arm pulp story, and maybe have that um, publish that on Amazon. But I want to talk today about G8 and his battle aces. So. Um, G8 is a pulp hero and there I guess there was battle aces before this and they decided that because of the success of the shadow who is the most successful pulp hero there's also Doc Savage there's the spider who's kind of my favorite there's the Avenger I love the Avenger actually he's a cool character check him out check out the Avenger pulp hero read up about him he's really neat spider's my personal favorite he's just really cool to me um but yeah so I had read The Spider Volume 1, and I reviewed that already, so you can check that out on my channel. And I thought, um, it was awesome, of course, because I love these pulp, uh, pulp uh, heroes. And I've been grabbing these uh, editions here. So you can tell this is number one. These are published by Steger Books. The description is in, sorry, the link is in the description below. And um, they've been reprinting these, and they're pretty good. Like, they kind of... They're not exactly reprints because most pulps are a little bit bigger. They're like comic book size, but uh, these are smaller. These are like kind of standard book sizes. They're about 200 pages. Um, this one's a little less than 200. Oh no, it's 203 or something like that. So there you go. So G8 and his battle aces. So G8 is a pilot. This is all World War I stuff. So the Germans are the villains in, the, in these books. I'd like to just put a little asterisk to say these are products of their time. Um, which is to say that we need to be enlightened. We need to be people who can accept that there was media and stories that were around in a time period that didn't have the exact same thinking that we have now. I do not like to go back in time and find old comics or stories or newspaper articles or clippings or strips or radio shows and go back and edit them with today's sensibilities. I think that is a waste of time as we cannot just forget history. We need to look at things for the when they were created. I'm not gonna go back and watch a silent film and I've watched many and say, this silent film doesn't have better effects than Lord of the Rings. To me, it's just, it's just stupidness. We need to remove this kind of element from our minds. I'm tired of it. Yeah, the Germans are bad guys in this. I'm gonna I'm gonna review one where the Chinese are the bad guys in it, okay? And there's an entire series of what they call yellow peril books where they the Chinese are painted as evil and something to be feared and scary and all that. Fu Manchu, a great series of books is the Fu Manchu books. I don't care what people say. It's time that we walk this off and, and admit to ourselves that we can have fun reading old books and think of them as adventure novels and not products of their time and propaganda. G8 and his battle aces. Okay, so the, the Germans have got these giant bat creatures that spit uh, poison and they fly and G8 and his battle aces, Nippy and Bull, have to fight these things. It's like, okay, now there's a little bit of a twist. It's a little bit of a twist, I won't tell you. I'm not gonna ruin this book for you. I desperately want you guys to check this out. It's freaking awesome. So I'm gonna use my space method to review this, which is story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment. Now space works beautifully for films. It works great for comic books. It doesn't work perfectly for books because there's not really an art factor, but like for movies, there's sound and cinematography and, and, and that kind of a thing. And for uh, comic books, obviously there's covers and art, the interior art. 
The artistry here is really just this. So two out of two for the artistry because uh, all, the, all, the, all the covers are amazing. Okay. So uh, G8 number one, this is called The Bat Staffel or Staffel. I do not know how to pronounce that because I'm illiterate. No, I don't know how to pronounce it. So let's talk about the story. Frigman, I'm giving the story two out of two. I absolutely loved the storyline here. I just told you what it is. There is absolutely like awesome creativity here. A lot of cool stuff. I don't want to spoil it at all. I already told you the gist of it. That's good enough. You'll have to trust me on the rest. Pacing, the pacing I'm giving two out of two. So the way I'm rating these is that a zero, a one or a two. Zero means the pacing was bad. One means the pacing was good. Two means it was great. Two out of two. Yo, I read this in two sittings. That is the fastest I've ever read a book ever. Granted, it is only 200. 205. 205 pages. Now, these would have been less pages in the bigger format. And, and, and the old pulps would be like two columns. So they're probably like around 100 pages back then, but Steger Books is, re is reprinting these in like more convenient size and, and a more general size for people to collect. This is sort of like like a manga, like a general manga size or like a, a regular book. I think it's six by nine, but I haven't really I haven't really measured it. My books that I published are the, about this size as well. But yeah, pacing two at two. Yo, this, there's no, or the origin of G8 is told in like two seconds. That's like... It's not even, sorry, it's not even told. It's just like, yeah, he doesn't have a name. He's now Operator G8. He flies a plane. That's it. So it's World War I aerial combat stuff. Now, this is an entire genre of pulps that I didn't even know about. I was like a hero pulp guy. Shadow, Spider, Avenger, you know, that kind of thing. Doc Savage. I didn't even know about this. This is a crazy amount of stuff in here. There's so many... And it's really exciting. Um, the artistry I'm giving two out of two because this looks amazing. The interior art is fine, but beautiful cover. Every cover is worth a poster. Um, so that's easy for artistry. Characters, I'm giving the characters, hmm, I'm gonna give it 1.5 out of two. The reason I didn't give it two out of two is that the villain isn't as defined. He's pretty good, but he's not as defined. There's a doctor. He's like an evil German doctor. He's not as well defined, but the other characters, Nippy is like a short little guy. He's got, he has, he knows magician. He has some like magician background. He doesn't care about, he's a logical guy. He doesn't care about superstition. His airplane is actually number 13. Cause he's like, I don't care. 13's not unlucky for me. It's just a number. Um, his other, his buddy, his name is Bull. And Bull is uh, superstitious, big, huge, former you know former football player and he's a big lovable tough guy his plane number is seven because he is superstitious let's see if i can find pictures of them in here they do have photos of them i should have bookmarked that but i didn't think of that until just now okay oh here we go so there's nippy weston Uh, there's Bull Martin right there. So there's the two. Yeah, um, I'm giving it one and a half. I love these characters. They're amazing. This is very exciting. I, I highly recommend grabbing this one. Enjoyment, two out of two, man. This gives, I'm giving this a nine and a half out of ten. I thought it was just bloody awesome. One of the favorites that I've read, and it came out of nowhere, and it really captured my imagination. These old stories is what's uh, really lacking in today's uh, writing, especially for like it, look. They're like comic books. They're basically comic books without pictures, right? Comic books could take a lot of lessons from these pulps, where it's fast paced. Get the characters, introduce them, throw them into action. They get out of it, throw them into more action. See how they get out of it. It's just one thing after another for these guys and it's great great story so i highly recommend this um you can get this from amazon you can get it from steger books directly which is they're the guys who are doing it highly recommend grabbing this one check out my other pulp videos i'm really excited about these pulps we're going to do a stream on it we got to talk more about these pulps they're so cool they're not talked about enough so yes please check these out they're so good i am not affiliated 
with Steger books or Amazon or any of that stuff. I'm just talking as a fan. That's it. Okay, guys, I had a lot of fun talking about this. It's really cool. So I'm going to do a few more of these and we're going to see how it goes. But uh, if you like this kind of thing, like, subscribe, please check me out. I'm at uh, on Twitter, at SpectacularJMan. Um, and I'm always open to talk about stuff. So if, you, if you're into G8, if you've got some ones you want to recommend, let me know. I, I appreciate that because I didn't know about this until I just happened to find it. And now I love it. So that's it, guys. All right. Until next time.